Hi everyone, welcome to the necklace workshop. I'm Paul. Today we're going to have a look at the size of a uh, Unimat SL uh, Universal Machine Tool. A few months ago uh, I purchased the uh, uh, MCO Unimat uh, SL uh, Universal Machine Tool. Uh, well, I now actually have two of the, two of them, but not with all the um, all the component parts. And uh, both of them are, need a bit of um, maintenance before they can be used. But interesting enough, I was um, scanning eBay, which is where I sourced them and one of the uh, things I did notice was um, people selling them because they had a uh, mis misunderstood the actual size size of them so in this video really I'd like to just sort of make people aware of how big these these uh, these lathes effectively are because they're very very small um, so as we can see my usual uh, representation of a uh, cans of coke these are 333 mil size uh, cans and you can see it's just just over four four long now my this this one's a little bit longer because it has the attachment for the auto feed of the uh, um, so so that 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 does add a, a slight amount onto it so if I go with the uh, the tape measure we're looking at uh, around about 18 inches if we uh, if we move the uh, the cans to to give you an idea of uh, between centers it's effectively probably less than one and a half cans which uh, if I take them back out again when we measure I haven't got any centers actually in there at the moment but we're looking at about seven and a quarter inches so with the centers you're probably maybe seven at the most but once you get a chuck on it gets a bit bigger uh, you've got the uh, the uh, motor there so the physical depth of this uh, is around around 10 10 inches um, so uh, I'll just um, stop the video now and, and set up and then we look at it when it's configured as a milling machine. Okay, well we've got things got got the machine set up so we can see it set up as a uh, a mill. So we just we just zoom in a little bit and we can show you the uh, the size of the travel. Now we've got uh, again a good old coke can. I'll take that off. Effectively, you. We've got obviously we've got no drill or milling cutter in here, and we've got the the top of the vice. the The size is somewhere uh, it's about uh, two two and three quarter inches. But in reality, once you've put a put a tool in there, you've um, you you don't have much room. Uh, this unfortunately, because it's uh, uh, in need of some repair won't travel up and down but you have effectively just got one inch worth of travel from uh, to, to move the uh, uh, to, to, to move the um, the the cutting cutting tool uh, down into the job so you are f sort of really restricted to very small uh, small work um, yep so uh, that's uh, that's about it on uh, giving you a brief a brief idea of um, size wise on this it really is for very small um, for working on, on small components um, hopefully as I start to restore these I'll recall, uh, record all this for you to watch and hopefully it'll be of some interest okay well thanks very much and uh, hope you all stay uh, strong uh, happy and healthy and uh, speak to you soon bye bye mm -hmm.